what is Queen Pipe? Louis, can you tell us more about it? AI is as good as the context you provide it. And Screen Pipe is a context layer that allows you to put your desktop history in AI. Developers can build apps powered by this context and then publish to Screen Pipe App Store, which is used by thousands of users. And you can monetize it using Stripe. Everything is automating, automated. First of all, you can create apps that summarize some context from the past of the of the user based on a specific app that they use or based on a specific time that they use the desktop. Or you can perform actions. You can create an app that generates personalized messages on Twitter based on the that the screen pipe gathered about the user. So you can check out the screen pipe and see what apps are already created. But actually, how do we create a pipe? Louis, can you walk us through the process? So we have a template that allows you to create an app powered by screen pipe. Just run this command line. Once you created your template, it's an XJS app. You just have to start with your favorite package manager. I use Ben personally. So it's a working pipe that is powered by screen pipe contacts in two commands. Yes, yeah, that's right. Can you show what it does? Yeah, so you have this button. When you click, it will return the last five minutes of your screen. That's so it's a list of with objects. The type here is OCR, so it means it's text straight from your screen. You can also use something called UI, which is the exact elements scrapped from your desktop. Here, you have the text. Um, you see the text that, has, that is extracted from your screen and the time. The file, because it's written in video file, so you have video files of your screen. It's both the actual text and also the screen recording. Yes. Nice. So you can display, if you want, the video on your, in your app, if you want. The app name, so Arc is my browser, and the window name. Uh, which is the name of the tab. Uh, then you can you can add tags to your data. So tags means it's basically labeling. Right? Yes. Oh, so you can automatically label the data. Let's say the user wants to uh, is working on project X, and they want to label the data with LLM in order to understand when they worked on the project X, so that this data can be pulled as a context for a conversation or for some productivity report or for some action. That's right. Yeah. Cool. And browser URL. So we collect the URL you are visiting. Oh, so in case the user was browsing Arc, in your yeah. case, it returns the exact URL that was present on the frame at the moment. But also if you query the UI monitoring, as we call it, it will return the DOM of any app that the user is using at the moment. Either it's a browser, like a browser DOM of elements in the raw text format, actually, just only the visible text elements. Or it could be WhatsApp or iMessage or any other app, absolutely any other app, just the raw text hierarchically from that, that given page. And why is it important? Is because sometimes OCR is duplicated or not 100% quality the text. So you want to reference exact keyword from scraped DOM. And, and uh, you can also get the audio. Yeah. Can you show us? So just press this button, audio. And uh, as you can see, uh, the type here is audio is different. Chunk, and uh, you see the transcription. So we, we use four different AI models to make this audio very high quality local. Uh, we use voice activity detection. We use to identify the voices. We use a bunch of other things. So the diarization is distinguish the speakers. So it means that you can pretty much distinguish by voice vector ra rather than like by input device like other apps do. And it's a separate table in the SDK as well, right? You can query uh, screen pipe data and see how many speakers mm -hmm. were present and assign names mm -hmm. to each one. And it will be collected in one, yeah. uh, one table. For example, you can get all the conversation you had with John of the last month, like one line of command. Provided that you give the user ability to label John in the first place based on a sample. But we already yeah. have a, an yeah. app for that as well. That you can yeah. Label. And then the same fields here, timestamp, the file of the video, the audio recording, and the device. So it can be micro, it could be your microphone, your iPhone, your output audio. So for example, if someone speak in your meeting. Oh, so it's d distinguished between the display audio, the, your MacBook producing a sound, or your input device like microphone. Yeah, speaker or microphone. And like then, then there is like the speaker ID, and so, sometimes you have like a name that is uh, be assigned, and like specific information you can assign to the speaker. Sounds good, but it's pretty much like a structured data output from the screen pipe, but it's probably not for the user to look through. It's more for LLM to use, right? As a context, that's the idea. That's exactly right. How do you do that? It's actually pretty simple. Here, I have my, my file, and I will just ask cursor, feed the, the context of screen pipe response into OpenAI model using Vercel 
AI SDK. But wait, but how does it know how to use ScreenPipe SDK? Actually, something I do uh, all the time is I just click on the import here and I will add the ScreenPipe SDK as context in cursor and then I will press enter. Nice. It looks like it started to use uh, SDK and uh, SDK, can you, can you walk us through the code just to understand it better? Yeah, so we are using Vercel AI SDK here and uh, it's adding a hook to send the data saved by ScreenPipe SDK into OpenAI context window. Okay, so it's both using the screen data and audio data in this example? Yes, and then it will display the AI response in the component. So it takes five last minutes of user data and ingests it into the AI with a prompt of your choice. Yeah. So you can say, uh, summarize the last five minutes of the user activity and classify it, what did they do or do like, or create a summary, create a note. And that summary can then be used to create like a, a bigger picture summary or to create some specific action or to help user in some way. Like identify any problems that the user encountered based on the five minutes of the last five minutes of their data and display them a notification, like mm. a desktop notification or something else, whatever you want. Yeah, it could also be like, collect the task I need to do in the future. For example. Oh, can you do actions? Can, can you do like a desktop action? Control user computer? Yeah, you can even control the desktop using our SDK, the functions for this. We also have templates and examples to use local browser automation. So you don't need to authenticate the user. It's already on, on the computer. Nice. Looks good.